we lived in a suburb of Philadelphia prior to, to moving back to Connecticut. Whenever a storm would come through, the property would leak. Our heating bill would go through the roof, literally. That set us up for the next chapter, which was a personal choice to relocate to Connecticut, but we wanted to build a home that was not only beautiful, but that was resistant to the elements. Well, Jeff and Sandy wanted a modern farmhouse, so they came to me and they had kind of a plan and so they took that plan, modified it a little bit to accommodate for thicker walls, you know, change orientation a little bit. The standard plan, like any plan, usually will have a two by four, two by six wall. Bumping up to a 12 inch wall, you do have to change the layout of some rooms and make sure you have the correct interior space that you want. It's extremely tight. The walls are super insulated, double stud wall filled cellulose, you get an R45, and that's continued through the roof line where we have like an R60. Same thing with going down, the foundation walls are insulated and also underneath the slab. So you have continuous insulation wrapping the whole house. He also was able to use double hung, double glazed windows in this home. Perhaps unusually, many of his other projects have had triple glazed, as have others, but these were very efficient. And uh, although we might've been a little skeptical at first, you can see that when you do the rest of the package so well, we can still get that exceptionally good HERS index score of 31 before counting for any renewables. Nick said, well, let's just see what happens if we open a window. So he opened one of these windows over here while they were running the blower door test and they still got a test reading of under 3 ACH 50. You don't feel the leaking when the wind is blowing. The home is very comfortable from a temperature standpoint. Even on the coldest days, I'm not bundled up, which is really a change for me. Everything we had dreamed about has kind of come to fruition. The home then has a geothermal system which can capture heat from the ground in the winter time or put heat into the ground in the summertime as a heat sink and uses a heat pump water heater to generate hot water for the house. The other thing that this house has is, is an ERV which is essential when you have a really tight house. It brings in fresh air and also extracts stale air from the house. I think my favorite feature would be the solar, probably because I can see the progress on a daily basis. I'm on the app all the time. This house has a 10 kW photovoltaic system. Which brings the final hose index down to four. We really believe in zero waste. So everything that we purchased, that we had to purchase, we thought genuinely about the impact it would have on the environment, the impact it would have on the air quality, on the aesthetic of the home. You know, it all had meaning to us. We built a house that was energy efficient and also came out beautiful. For anyone who may be considering building their own home, I think building an energy efficient home is, in my mind, priority number one. The Zero Energy Challenge was one of the first items that Nick brought to our attention. It was really central to driving the whole outlook of, of our project. If you have a home that's well insulated, you're going to have lower bills. It just makes more sense from a functionality standpoint. Everything else is just dressing. <laughs>